Hey guys, back with another video. Uh, this one is to demonstrate how to use your CME X key polyphonic aftertouch feature with the Nave app. Uh, the Waldorf Nave app is a great wavetable synthesizer and it does support polyphonic aftertouch or poly pressure. Getting it set up is a little tricky, so I thought I'd make this video to walk you guys through it. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to the mods and keys setting. Uh, it's the third button over on the top. It lights up blue when you're there. And then in the matrix, you want to select the source. And in this case, it is labeled as Y touch. It's not labeled as after touch. It's Y touch. That's what tricked me up a little bit until I experimented and found it. So then you close that. So now you have the source set. Now you want to select the destination. This is the really cool thing you can direct the polyphonic aftertouch to so many parameters volume pan lfo speed lfo gain pitch mix it goes on and on i really advise you to experiment with all the different things you can do it really will add a lot of expression to your playing once you get these set up so let's just set it to oscillator pitch because that's very easy to demonstrate close it Okay, so now we've got the source set from the aftertouch or Y touch as Nave calls it. We've got it set to go to oscillator pitch. The next thing you need to do, it's not that obvious, is activate it. That's a little button there, it lights up blue. Okay, so now we've got it activated. The last thing you need to do is set this little slider. This controls when it's in the middle, it really doesn't do much. When you go to the right, it will bring the pitch up. It sends a positive value from aftertouch. When you send it to the left, it sends a negative value. So I'm gonna play here and you can hear the pressure and the pitch change as I do that. So that's the pitch going down. I'll send the slider the other way. We'll make the pitch go up. And there you go. Again, this is a really unique feature of the X key. The really nice thing of what the polyphonic aftertouch gives you over the regular aftertouch is you can say hold a note down uh, at the bottom of the keyboard, steady, and then apply the aftertouch to notes on the top part. So the bottom part stays uh, normal while the top part is affected by whatever you have the aftertouch channel to.